Hello, how are you? I have my friend Ellie again with me. Can you say hi, Ellie? Hi. Ellie loves being in these videos. Can't you tell? She is such a happy kitty to welcome you. Yay! To Sunday school. Thank you, Ellie. All right. It's been nice um, and it's fun week and I hope you've had a wonderful time. I know I have and I'm excited to be here with you to talk about Sunday school today and to tell a special story about someone and we'll practice his name in a little bit. But first, can everybody sit crisscross applesauce and be ready and we're going to sing our welcome song, okay? Okay, here we go. God loves me, God loves me, God loves everyone, and God loves me. God loves, oh my goodness, there are so many of you. God loves Christine and Henry and Evan and Celeste and Isaac and Olivia and Elizabeth and Lachlan and Connolly and Gwen and Miles and Caroline and Adelaide and Charlotte and Grace. Whew. God loves Christine and Henry and Evan and Celeste and Isaac and Olivia and Elizabeth and Lachlan and Connolly and Gwen and Miles and Carolyn and Adelaide and Charlotte and Grace. God loves everyone and God loves Christine and Henry and Evan and Celeste and Isaac and Olivia and Elizabeth and Lachlan and Connolly and Gwen and Miles and Carolyn and Adelaide and Charlotte and Grace. Phew! God loves our parent or parents. God loves, let's say, our family. God loves everyone and God loves our family. God loves Dr. Coles. God loves Dr. Coles. God loves everyone and God loves Dr. Coles. It's so much fun to have our Sunday school grow and grow with new people in it. So welcome to everyone. It's so exciting. Well, today we're going to talk about, uh, have a story in our Bible about someone who made a lot of people mad. It's time to make our mad faces. Can you make a mad face? Let's see. Are you mad? Let's see you be mad. All right. Well, our story is about a man who did many things that people didn't like. And because of that, they weren't very nice to him. Here's a little rhyme about the man. One short man up in the tree. One short man, I'll wonder who he'll see. Are you gonna be ready for this story? Well, who was this man? Well, his name was Zacchaeus. Can you say that? It has a key, like a key in the middle of it. Zacchaeus. One more time, say it with me. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Yeah, that's right, Zacchaeus. Well, there are some other things that you should know about this man. Well, as I said, first of all, he was someone that people didn't like. And the reason why they didn't like him is that he took their money. Well, it's okay if you have to pay money for things, even if we don't always like to. He was a tax collector. Did you know that um, your parent or your parents, that they pay taxes to help make schools and they pay money to places to make schools and roads and playgrounds and things like that? Well, people who collect the money are called tax collectors. And Zacchaeus was a tax collector. But the problem was is that Zacchaeus was greedy and he would not only take their money for taxes to build schools and playgrounds and things like that, he also took extra money for himself. That wasn't nice, was it? No, not at all. And so people weren't too happy with him. So people were mad. Can you say that? Can you do your mean face again? All right. The other interesting thing about Zacchaeus is he was rather short. People say he was a wee, a little short person, a wee little man. 
And so Zacchaeus was a wee little man who collected taxes, but then would take extra money for himself. So that's the story that we're going to learn about today. And uh, we're going to start our story, but I need you to help me. Hopefully you got some coins because we're going to pretend that there are tax collectors. So I have some, oops, I have some pennies here and I'm going to put them in a cup and you can put them in your hands and, or you can put them in a cup. And when I say the word money in our story, shake those coins or you can put them in a cup. And it makes a lot more noise. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about when we hear people being angry. Let's practice again our angry faces. That's right. And then we're going to hear about someone being too short to see. Have you ever been too short? Have you ever been in a crowd and you couldn't see anybody? What if someone steps right in front of you? What happens? You can't see a thing, can you? I'm a little short and I can't see. I stand on my tiptoes and sometimes I still can't see. So in our story, we're gonna hear about someone who's trying to see. And then this person climbs a tree, Zacchaeus does. So can you climb, 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 climb a tree? scooting up into a tree. Okay, and then in the story, we're gonna talk about having a special meal, special food. And when that happens, let's rub our tummies, okay? So we're gonna learn to shake for money. We're gonna be angry at times. We're gonna try to look and see. We're gonna climb trees. And we're gonna rub our tummies when we hear about food and a good meal. All right? Okay. So let's read our story. This is a story about Zacchaeus. See him? There he is there. He's much shorter. And all these people, they were standing and waiting. They lived in a town called Jericho. And there was a rich man there named Zacchaeus. He had a big house, a big yard, and lots of money. Okay. He was rich because of his job. He collected taxes from people. However, Zacchaeus always took extra money for himself and kept it for himself. And for that reason, people didn't like Zacchaeus. In fact, they were mad at him. So one day Zacchaeus saw a whole crowd of people. There he is there, gathering along the side of the road and heard someone say, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And Zacchaeus was wondering, who, who is this Jesus? He must be important, I want to see him. Now Jesus wanted, or Zacchaeus wanted to see him. Oh my goodness, look, even that baby is sticking his tongue out at Zacchaeus. So mad. And he had a problem though. He couldn't see, he was too short. Let's try to look, look and see. He was too short and he couldn't see from the back of the crowd. So he needed to get in front of the tall people. So you know what he did? He climbed up into a tree. He said, they're so mad at me, they'll never let me in front. I know, I will climb up into a tree and it will be right along the road where Jesus is walking by. And so Zacchaeus climbed, let's climb again, climb, climb, climb. He climbed up into the tree. Now he could see everything and he could see the crowd and he could even see Jesus coming. He was so excited. Step, step, step. Jesus kept walking, getting closer and closer until he was right under the tree by Zacchaeus. And Jesus suddenly stopped and Jesus looked up into the tree 
and you saw Zacchaeus sitting there. Uh-oh, do you think Zacchaeus was in trouble? Maybe Jesus didn't like Zacchaeus either. I don't know. Well, Jesus started to talk to Zacchaeus and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down from that tree. You come down from that tree. I want to have dinner at your house today. Oh my goodness, what thought Zacchaeus? Jesus wants to come to my house? Quickly, Zacchaeus climbed down, climb, climb, climb down from the tree. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Here's somebody that people don't like and Jesus said, I want to go to your house. Huh. Now, when he said, Zacchaeus climbed down and he said, this is the way to my house. And then the people, did they look happy? No, they were mad. Like your mad face, mad. They were mad and they said, well, Zacchaeus is a bad man. He must not like Zacchaeus. Jesus shouldn't like Zacchaeus. But Jesus went to Zacchaeus' house. And while they were having dinner, there they are going to Zacchaeus' house. And while they were having dinner, Jesus told Zacchaeus, God wants everyone to be part of God's family and God wants everyone to care for others. Zacchaeus listened closely to Jesus. Jesus cared for Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus learned that he could care for others. If Jesus cared for him, he could care for others. He knew exactly what he needed to do. Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I will give back all the extra money. I will give back the extra money. In fact, I'll give back more money than I took from people. Zacchaeus met Jesus and that changed him forever. He learned to care about others. Wow, that's an interesting story, isn't it? Do you know, think about it. Do you know of someone that maybe makes you mad and you get angry with? You know, Jesus wants us to even be kind to the people who aren't always nice to us. Or maybe to pray for them and and hope that they will find kindness and be caring towards others. And you can even ask Jesus to help you be more caring. Well, I like that story. In fact, I like that story so much. Let's do it one more time and let's do our actions, okay? We'll speed it up and do our actions. So many people lived in a town called Jericho. And one of them was a rich man named Zacchaeus. He had a big house, a big yard, and lots of money. Zacchaeus was rich because of his job. He collected taxes from people. However, Zacchaeus always took extra money from the people and kept it for himself. The people did not like Zacchaeus. They were mad at him. Zacchaeus saw a crowd of people gathering along the road. There's the crowd. And they were, and he heard someone say, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Jesus thought, Zacchaeus, who is this Jesus? He must be important. I want to see him too. And Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but he had a problem, remember? Zacchaeus was short, he was a wee little man, and he couldn't see from the back of the crowd. He needed to get in front of the taller people, but he knew they didn't like him. They were mad at him. They'll never let me in front. Then Zacchaeus had an idea. He found a tree near the road where Jesus was come by. And the tree was just the right size for Zacchaeus. So Zacchaeus climbed, let's climb, climb, climb up into the tree. Now he could see everything. 
He could see the road, he could see the crowd, he could even see Jesus. Zacchaeus got excited. Step, step, step. Jesus got closer and closer. Suddenly, Jesus stopped and he was right under Zacchaeus' tree. Uh-oh, was Zacchaeus in trouble? No, but maybe Jesus didn't like Zacchaeus either. Jesus started to talk to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, you come down from that tree. I want to have dinner with you today. What? thought Zacchaeus. Jesus wants to come to my house? Quickly, Zacchaeus climbed down from the tree. Can you climb down? Climb down the tree. This way, Jesus said, Zacchaeus, this is the way to my house. He's showing Jesus to his house. The crowd grumbled. They were upset. They were even a little mad. Look at them. They said, Zacchaeus is a bad man. But Jesus didn't hate Zacchaeus. He went to Zacchaeus' house. And while eating dinner, Jesus told Zacchaeus, God wants everyone to be part of God's family and to care for others. Zacchaeus listened closely. Jesus cared for Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus could care for others. He knew just what to do. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention the meal. We forgot to rub our tummies, didn't we? Well, Zacchaeus told Jesus, that I will give back all the extra money. In fact, I'll give more money than I took and give it back to the people. You see, Zacchaeus met Jesus and changed forever. He cared about others. I've always liked that story. Well, now let's, let's look at some of the activities that you have about this story. You have a special leaflet. Mine looks a little different than yours, like this. And you can see on here that there's this picture. Who's, who's this? Jesus, yeah. And who's this? We can't see, quite see his face, can we? But you have a sticker that you can put on the face. And that person is up in a tree. And that person's name is Zacchaeus. That's right. So take a sticker and you can put it here. And then what else is missing in the tree? Well, you know, maybe you can color in some leaves here and make the tree, I don't know if it's summertime, the leaves would be green or maybe they would be yellow or red, you decide. And we also know there was a crowd. Maybe you can put a couple people in the picture and remember what their faces were like. Mad. Can you draw a mad person there? So that's the first activity you can do. And if you want to, you can shut off this video for a little bit and finish your activity and come back, or we can do it later. Because then on the other side, you see that there is a table. Because what does Zacchaeus do? He, Jesus, wanted to go to his house to have a meal, right, to have food. So you can put stickers on here of the food and then you can draw in some other food that you want. What's your favorite food to eat? Yeah, well, that's good. I like chocolate. That's my favorite food. Well, what are other things that you could serve Jesus? Do you know, what are other ways that you can Here's the tricky thing, serve others. What can you do to help people at your house? Do you ever help a parent, a mom or a dad or somebody set the table? Do you ever take your dirty dishes back maybe to the sink? That's helping people. Do you ever, what are other things you could do? Maybe pick up some toys or maybe when your parent, your mom or a dad or someone says, 
can you get ready for bed now? You can say, yes, I'll get ready for bed now. And you can help and be good that way. How do we help others? Can you think of ways we can help others outside our family? Well, one thing that many of you are going to do is in two weeks, you're gonna help make soup with, um, uh, with uh, Mrs. Liz. And she is going to um, help you put make soup and then we're gonna bring the soup to a homeless shelter to some women who don't have a home and therefore they can't cook, they don't have food, and we're gonna give them food. That's something special that you're gonna to do to help others. There are many things we can do help others, to help others. Let's look at the bottom of it here. And I have this funny line in front of mine, but you can see a picture here. That's a little boy. What is the little boy doing? Does he look happy? No, he doesn't. I wonder what's wrong. He probably feels very alone, doesn't he? He looks sad. Here's a hard one to see because I have a line right through it, but you can look at your leaflet. Look at those two girls. What are they doing? Oh my goodness, it looks like they're fighting. Is that helping somebody? No. Oh, how about this picture down here? Can you see what's happening? Does it look like those children are being nice to this person here? I think this person looks a little sad, right? We don't want to make fun of people and make them feel sad. What can we do? Well, let's look on this side of the picture. This person, can you see the picture that goes with this one? Instead of letting someone be alone and sad, here, you take a crayon and you can draw a line to which picture? Look, here's somebody giving a little baby a hug. Instead of doing this, you can do this. So draw a line from here to here. How about here? Here are two girls fighting, remember? Can you draw another line? Do you see two girls who are being nice to one another? Yeah, right there. So draw a line from here to here. How about this last one? Remember this little girl who, this girl who felt sad because people were being, weren't being nice to her? Well, look up here. See the picture where they're being friends? There, they're being friends. So draw a picture from here to here. Jesus doesn't want us to do this. He wants us to do this. And we need to remember that because we want, because Jesus loved us, because Jesus loved Zacchaeus, who was not a nice person, who took all that money. But by loving him, Zacchaeus learned that God loved him and that he could change his ways and do good things. So that is good. Well, let's see here. In a little bit, we're gonna have you sing a song about Zacchaeus. It's a song that I learned when I was your age. Can you imagine Dr. Coles being your age? No, but I was. And it's a song that goes like this. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, meaning a short little man. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, a wee little man indeed. Can you say that? And then we're going to practice it with Dr. Drum. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord, that's Jesus, he wanted to see. So he climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed his way, that was Jesus step, step, stepping. Jesus looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. For I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house to pray. I always like that song. So you'll sing it in a little bit. 
Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed his way, Jesus looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house to pray. And you'll sing that with Dr. Drum in a little bit. Practice that song. I like that song. All right. Before we sing with Dr. Drum, though, I wanted to say a prayer. And I'm going to pause here, and I want you to think about what is something you're thankful for? Are you thankful for food? Are you thankful for your mom? Or are you thankful for your dad or your cat or your brother or sister? Let's pray, so say after me. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Thanks for, now say something you're thankful for. Thanks for, say something you're thankful for, okay? Help us to serve you every day. Help us to serve you every day. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you again soon. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And think about Zacchaeus and how he learned to care for others and how Jesus wants us to care for everyone too. Okay, bye. See you.